Sometimes we like to have our own special place to do our business. And the same can go for meditation. Now in the very second video I did, I compared and explained the similarities of meditation and going to the toilet. If you choose to do so, you can check that video out here. Anyways, in that video, I never spoke about having a place or somewhere to do your meditation. Well, just as important as it is to have some place to go to the toilet, a toilet, it also can be quite important to have a regular place to go to for your daily meditation practice. Not only will this help to keep your daily meditation practice regular, but it'll also help to cue you when it's that time of day. That's right, when you're busting to go to the toilet and you're in the vicinity of one, your body has this weird way of knowing that it's time to let go. I have to say it's kind of the same with meditation. However, I'm never busting to meditate. It hasn't happened yet anyway. However, when I do see my chair, blanket and cushion in my special place, my whole body does get cued into meditation mode. Sure, you can meditate anywhere. You can also sleep anywhere. You can also go to the toilet in other toilets. But there's nothing like having your own regular place that you can get used to, and therefore making it really easy to implement into your daily routine. So, today, I'm going to take you through how I prepare my space for meditation. But honestly, it's even weird to say that, because now I just kind of do it, just like going to the toilet. If anything, it's probably easier because you don't need to make sure that you have toilet paper. Anyways, you don't necessarily have to do this, but this is what I would consider if I was just starting to meditate. All right, if you live with people, try and do it in a separate room, preferably one that's quiet and away from everything else. And if you're starting to meditate, let the people you live with know about it. It doesn't have to be a big deal. You don't have to tell them to be quiet or anything. Just let them know that you're doing it. The same way if someone's reading a book or study. If you let them know, then they won't make too much of a ruckus. It's etiquette. Depending on who you live with, you might also find that this will lead to some wonderful conversations. When you have your room sorted, try and make a regular time or try and add it onto an existing habit. When I first started, I had this small routine. Wake up, stretch, brush teeth, meditate. And of course, I'd go to the toilet and have a drink whenever I needed to. Once you're in your room, I personally like to have a blanket and a regular place to sit. I also make a little effort of having the right temperature in the room, but I find from the different places I've meditated in, the blanket really helps in this regard. My mum gave me this blanket. If there was a fire, the first thing I would grab would be my synthesizers and then this blanket. <gasps> of course. So you've got your room, your chair, cushion, blanket, and then if you want, you can even have incense or light a candle. I've never really needed to use those things when cueing my meditation, but after speaking to some people, they've said that lighting a candle really helps. Do what feels right for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Get a place, set it up, make it nice. The whole point of setting up a place is to help make meditation something that you look forward to, instead of making it seem like a chore or something that you have to do. Eventually, it'll start to feel that it's something you just do. And if you don't have the luxury of having a spare room, by all means, do it in your bedroom. But if possible, try not to do it in your bed. In my opinion, you should try to organize a chair or try and find some other place to sit. Hey, it might work for you, but I've tried to meditate in my bed before and it's never worked for me. Maybe it's because I've already just been there for ages and I just feel it would be nicer to be elsewhere. Anyways, I'm just saying all this stuff as it may help you with getting started. It for sure helped me. And obviously everything I've just spoken about is for a seated practice. Don't forget there's many techniques that can help you meditate anywhere and everywhere. And for some techniques, it takes as little as 30 seconds. I'll leave links to some of these shorter meditations below. Oh, and just so you know, I've started a new YouTube channel. It's called Alex Snarsky Music, music with a K. If you like electronic music, you might dig this. Maybe you wanna check it out when you have a chance. I'll leave a link in the description below. If this video has given you value, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'm Alex, I'll see you next week. Later, meditator.